crash landing on you tells the story of star-crossed lovers Yoon Sri, Sun Ye Jin, a South Korean Chabel heiress to Queen's Group a successful South Korean CEO and Chabel heiress to Queen's Group. She has a troubled family history as she is her father's illegitimate child whose biological mother died after she was born, resulting in a strained relationship with her stepmother due to a childhood misunderstanding. She is also involved in an upcoming family succession battle, the latter making her the target of resentment from her half-brothers and their wives. After she rejected her brother's attempt to force her into an arranged marriage that would send her to the United Kingdom, she had numerous casual relationships with celebrities, but never developed any close companionships. She is nonetheless an independent wealthy businesswoman who runs her own successful fashion and beauty company, Ceres Choice. She is known for being a demanding boss, staging publicity stunts and is a picky eater who practices intermittent fasting. An R.I. Zhang Hai Yok, Hai Hun Bin, a member of the North Korean elite and a captain in the Korean People's Army. A proficient but emotionally reserved captain of Company 5 in the Korean People's Army who is stationed along the North Korean portion of the DMZ. He is well respected by the unit he leads and the locals of the rural village he resides in. A piano prodigy. He was studying to become a concert pianist in Switzerland before being forced to join the North Korean military after his older brother died in a mysterious car accident. While he comes from a powerful political family, his father being the director of the General Political Bureau, he prefers to keep his lineage a secret in order to secretly investigate his older brother's death. One day, while Yoon Seri is paragliding in Seoul, South Korea, a sudden tornado blows her off course and knocks her out. She awakens to find her paraglide hanging in a tree in a forest in the North Korean portion of the DMZ, an area forbidden to South Koreans. There she meets R.I. Zhang hai -ok, who eventually gives her shelter and develops plans to help her return to South Korea secretly. Over time, they fall in love, despite the divide between their respective countries. Back in South Korea, Yoon Sri's family suppresses the news of her disappearance, fearing it will depress the stock price of Queen's Group. Just before Sri went missing, her retiring father had told his family that he intended to make her his successor, based on her proven ability as a businesswoman, shown by building her own company, Sri's Choice. Half brothers, Yoon Se Jun and Yoon Se Hyung, each hope to be their father's replacement, but they have struggled to manage the Chabel's subsidiaries. The brothers are supported by equally ambitious wives, Du Haiji, and Go Sang-a respectively. In Sri's absence, Se Hyung uses unscrupulous means to win the succession battle, while his wife Sang-a attempts to take over Sri's choice. Sri and Zhang hai Yok's story is intertwined with that of Seo Dan, a North Korean department store heiress and aspiring cellist who is also R.I. Zhang hai Yok's fiancé through an affianced marriage arranged by their parents. While she has been infatuated with Zhang hai Yok since they were middle school classmates, he doesn't reciprocate her feelings but agrees to the betrothed marriage out of a sense of duty towards his parents. Before the wedding, Dan desperately tries to prevent the marriage from becoming a sham after realizing that Zhang hai Yok had never loved her from the start. She eventually falls for Seung Joon. And Gu Seung Joon. An intelligent, charming, but poor South Korean conman with British citizenship. After his father was scammed by Sri's father, leading to his family's bankruptcy, he ingratiated himself with Sri's brother, Se Hyung, in order to embezzle from the Yoon family's company. Se Hyung attempted to marry off Sri to Seung Joon in order to be rid of her but Sri sensed his ill intentions on their first meeting and rejected him. Seung Joon nonetheless successfully cheated a fortune from the firm under Se Hyung's watch, and fled to North Korea to avoid arrest, while under pursuit by gangsters hired by Se Hyung. He eventually falls for Dan after running into her on many occasions. She has been studying the cello in Russia for several years but returns to marry Zhang hai -yok to whom she is engaged through an arranged marriage though they have only met a few times. As she returns to Pyongyang, she crosses paths more than once with Gu Seung Joon, who has fled to North Korea, under the protection of corrupt North Korean officers, in order to escape the pursuit of Se Hyung, under whose incompetent watch he had embezzled large amounts of money. 
The first half of the story follows Zhang Hyeok's attempts to hide SCRI and facilitate her return to South Korea. They are impeded by Cho Cheol Gang, a corrupt and ruthless officer from the State Security Department, who previously arranged the murder of Zhang Hyeok's older brother, an officer who tried to expose him for crimes against the North Korean regime. Zhang Hyeok's attachment to SCRI distresses not only Dan, his fiancé, but also his father a high-ranking political figure. If it became known that Zhang Hyeok harbored a South Korean citizen, it could be used by rival officials to ruin their family. SERI is thrown into an attic by Zhang Hyeok's father. Zhang Hyeok arrives and arranges that she go back to South Korea the next day. In the second half of the story, SERI has returned to South Korea and resumes leadership of her company, surprising her family and others who had thought her dead. Cheol Gang is convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment but escapes custody and infiltrates South Korea to go after SERI for revenge. Zhang Hyeok goes to South Korea to protect SERI from Cheol Gang he act as a her personal bodyguard. His soldiers follow, sent to Seoul to retrieve him by his father, Ganj traveled around the city and find Hyeok then he arranged to meet up with SERI. Meanwhile, in North Korea, despite hostile initial encounters, Seo Dan and Seung Jun fall in love and she shelters him when corrupt officers betray him to Se Hyung's gangsters. Seri's brother conspires with Cheol Gang to trap Seri. In the ensuing melee, Seri is severely wounded. Seri lies in a coma. The South Korean National Intelligence Service investigates. Zhang Hyeok confronts Cheol Gang. Cheol Gang is killed and Zhang Hyeok arrested. Seung Jun gives Dan the ring he'd bought for SERI. He is shot defending Dan. SERI has a relapse a Jung Hyeok returns to North Korea. SERI finds reminders of him that he left behind for her. She makes yearly visits to Switzerland. 